Hello, grade 12s. I want us to continue now with the topic of trigonometry on your assignment. Question five. I'm not able to do it. Why? I don't have the graph. Okay. So the person that gave me this question paper, I believe there should be a graph because they say on question five, they say the graph represents the curve of f of x equals to a sine x plus b and g of x equals to c cos dx between negative 180 and 180. So because I don't have a graph, I cannot be able to do question five. If I had a graph, I was going to do question five. So I'm going to go straight to question six, which I believe is the simplest question in this assignment actual. So question six, let's go through it without wasting time. The first question says, uh, now this, this lazy, I've been recording and like already it, it appears as if I just want to finish. Let me read the information. Let me become and read the information. Let me not rush into going to the question, read the question. No, reading the information is important. In the figure B, B is the foot of a vertical tower BA, and the two points C and D are in the same horizontal plane. From C, the angle of elevation of A is X. This is the, our angle X. If BC equals to CD, they are both D, and BD, C equals to Z. So they are saying BC, BD, this side BD equals to the side CD, which makes the triangle B, C, D, an isosceles triangle. Like, remember I said you have to spot isosceles triangle so fast. As long as we have got two sides that are equal, the triangle is an isosceles triangle. Which means that I will call the side BC a base side. And which means that the angle B and the angle C are equal. But the reason why B and C are equal, I will say angles opposite equal side. So make sure that you understand why we say angle B is equal to angle C. Because those two angles, they are opposite to two sides which are equal. The angle C is opposite to the side BD. The angle B is opposite to the side CD. So these two angles, they are opposite to two sides that are equal. Therefore, those two angles are also equal. Okay, so angle B equals to angle C. Let's just do this so that we don't forget B equals to C. Okay, so now they are saying prove that AB is equal to D into the square root of 2, 1 minus cos X times times X. So they want us to prove that this side AB is equal to D into the square root of that expression that times tan x. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to first work on this right angle triangle A, C, B. And when you are working with a right angle triangle, it's very important to name the side of, of that right angle triangle. So I'm going to call AC hypotenuse because it's the longest side on my right angle triangle. The longest side is hypotenuse. It's always opposite to 90 degrees. Now, the side AB, because it's opposite to the angle X, I'm going to call the side AB the opposite side. Okay, and I'm going to call the side BC adjacent. So I'm going to use trigonometric ratios. Okay, I'm going to say, okay, I want to know more about AB, which is the opposite side. And I need to involve the side BC which is my adjacent, 
why do I have to involve BC? BC gives me an opportunity to come to the triangle BCD. To come to the triangle BCD. If I want to talk about the triangle BCD, I have to involve BC. Okay? So, if, if, okay, if you are picking A, B, and A, C, let's say A, B, and A, C, you will remain in a triangle A, B, C. So, for me to come to the triangle B, C, D, I need to involve B, C. So, now I'm going to say, okay, I need a trick ratio that talks about opposite and adjacent, and that is tan, from the word so, ka, tua. So, ka, Remember, tan is opposite over adjacent. So I'm going to say tan x is equals to opposite, which is AB, over adjacent, which is BC. So if I make AB the subject of the formula by maybe something like cross multiply, you say 1 times AB, you have AB equals to, you say BC times tan X, you're going to have BC tan X. That is after cross multiplication. So AB equals to BC tan X. Now, okay, now I have to come and manipulate this BC side. Maybe try to find BC. If I find BC on a triangle BCD, that might be very, very helpful in finding the expression of AB. So I have to find BC. And if we go to the triangle BCD, you notice that you have two sides BD and CD and the included angle, I'm going to call this angle here, the included angle. Remember, I said if you have got, let's, let's talk about triangle like this one. Let me do it here. If you have D here, and you have D here, and you have this angle here, this angle, I'm calling it included angle because it's between these two sides, which I want to focus at, the side BD and CD. So if you are looking for the side BC, if you are looking for BC, whereby you have got two sides and the included angle, you have to use what we call cosine rule. So I'm going to use cosine rule to find BC. So I'm going to say BC squared. According to the cosine rule, BC squared equals to BD squared plus CD squared minus 2BD CD cos of the included angle, which is cos of angle T. So I'm going to say BC squared equals to, what is my BD? I know that my BD is D. So I'm going to have D squared plus what is my CD? D. So D squared minus 2. BD is D. CD is D. Cos angle D is Z. So I'm having BC squared equals to D squared plus D squared is 2D squared. Minus D times D is D squared, 2D squared cos z. So I will say bc squared equals to, I think I have to take common factor 2d squared. 2d squared into 1 minus cos z. Please know how to factorize by taking out the common factor. Now you are going to put the square root both sides. So you are going to say bc is equals to the square root of, I know when we put the square root, we must say plus or minus. But because I'm talking about the length of BC, I know the length can never be negative. 
the distance can never be negative. So I will say 2d squared, b c equals to the square root of 2d squared into 1 minus cos z. Okay, therefore b c equals to, I am going to say this is the same as the square root of d squared times the square root of 2 into 1 minus cos z. I'm using the concept of sets. And then I will say bc equals to the square root of d squared is d. So d into the square root of 2 into 1 minus cos z. So BC is equals to D, the square root of 2 into 1 minus cos Z. So I will say AB now, AB equals to, I found BC, I said it is D, the square root of 2, 1 minus cos Z times tan X. So I think I've proven that AB is equals to D, 2 into, yeah, I mean, AB equals to D, the square root of 2 into 1 minus cos Z tan X. AB, it's proven. AB, it's proven. So now we have to look at 6.2. Okay, so they are saying prove that AB is equals to D sine Z tan X over cos Z over 2. Okay, I know that uh, AB is equals to BC tan X. So now I will substitute BC differently. I'm going to say, okay, the angle B, remember the angle B is equals to the angle C in a triangle B, C, D. I said it's an isosceles because this angle and this, I mean, the, the two angles, they are opposite to the side that are equal. The angle B is opposite to this side C. The angle C is opposite to the side B, D. So the angle B and the angle C are equal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, okay, uh, let me call, what am I going to do here? I want to use a uh, sign rule to so find BC. Okay, let me say B BC over sign D. What I'm using here is called sign rule. Go and check sign rule. BC over sign D equals to, and then uh, let me say, uh let me okay let me pick which one do i pick i said bc over sine d let me just pick any for sure here let me just say uh because those two angles are equal so i doubt it matters which one i pick let me just say dc let me pick dc dc over sine b So now I have BC, I want to find BC. So BC over D, angle D is Z. So BC over sine Z equals to, how much is my DC? It's D. DC is D over uh sine b so i have to express this angle b i set angle b and angle c are equal so we know that b i will say b uh my e plus i will just call c b as well because i said angle b and angle c are equal so angle b plus angle b plus d which is z equals to 180. So 2B is equals to 180 minus set. 
So B equals to 90 minus half of set, which is set over 2. Okay? So now I will say sine angle B. I just noticed that is 90 minus Z over 2. Now, BC, actually, after you do cross multiply, you'll see that BC is equals to D sine Z over this sine 90 minus Z over 2. Remember, it's a reduction formula. So because of 90, the trick ratio sign change. So it's going to be cos Z over 2. So BC is D sine Z over cos z over 2. So let's go back to the problem AB. AB equals to BC tan x. So I'm substituting BC with D sine z over cos z over 2 times tan z, which is now proven. AB equals to D sine z times z over cos z. I mean, over cos z over 2. Guys, I've been talking, I've been recording for sure. Yeah, it's too much. This is too much, but I'm happy I'm wrapping up with this question 6. I'm wrapping up with this question 6. Let me go. Yes, I need that information. I will need it. So now they are saying calculate the area of BCD. B. C, D, the area of this triangle. It's easy to find the area of a triangle, guys. As long as you have the included angle and two sides. So do I have B, D? They told me that D is 500. So B, D is 500, which means that C, D also is 500. Did they tell me Z? Yes, they told me Z is 80. So I will use the area rule, which is a half of... BD, which is 500. CD, which is 500. Sine of the included angle, which is 80. Yeah, so this is the area of a triangle BCD. Just press your calculator. Oh, finally, I am done. For sure, quality was compromised somewhere because I was now focusing on finishing i've been recording for sure it's almost four hours recording guys from question one up to question six so i've been here guys and it's yeah it's it's needed a lot of energy so just subscribe because i've put energy guys su subscribe in return thank you so much for visiting academic world by Patella TL. God bless you and see you next time. Keep visiting. I'm hoping that you are visiting my YouTube channel. I'm hoping.